Yo, what's going on guys? It is the Big K here. I'm going to take you through the daily grind that I do every time I log on to Metal Gear Survive. So what I firstly do is I run over here to this little pond and I take out these three sheep. So I get a little bit of food and, uh, you know, food is very important. So I try to stock up as much food as I have so I can do a lot more in the game. Next, you want to just, you know, you want to be as productive as you can during this run. You know, if stuff respawn, make sure you pick it up, you know, fill your inventory up. This is what this run is all about. Collect dirty water. You know, get everything you possibly can during this run so you can make it as efficient as possible. And what I like to do is I like to loop around this structure here, around the back. We get these plants right here that are kind of rare almost. I don't know, I usually never find them. But they're used for energy drinks and stuff, making energy drinks, which is always really good. Next, we have this container here. Always good to pick up stuff. It has some nice little stuff in it, so we'll, we'll pick it up for sure. Uh, always keep your ears open for all the gerbils, because gerbils are food, and, you know, food is good. And check anything. If you see those glowing white lights, make sure you go there and you pick it up. You know, look for plants too. Black carrots, wild berries, uh, other plants I can't pronounce. Make sure you pick up everything you see. Be as productive as possible. Next, we run over here, past that uh, landmark there on the left. And usually right here, there's three goats, usually, but they weren't spawned in. So, I mean, it happens. So, you know, pick up a few plants and whatnot and move on to the next area. Now we go up this little hill where there's usually two to three gray wolves. And sometimes there's coyotes there. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take them down. We'll... Get us some meat, man, so we could have some bacon later on, or, you know, whatever. So we could eat like a king while we're surviving, man. And, yeah, I go to this little place here. You know, you'll find some, like, clean water. Also, listen up for the gerbils. We'll get more gerbils here. Three more gerbils, man. That's amazing. We'll also look around and loot up everything we see. Get as much material as we can, because material is always good. We go over here, and there's three more sheep here. So we take them down, we get some fur, and we get some food, man. Picking up some black carrots, picking up everything we see. Now we go over to this bigger pond, and usually there is a lot of wild berries that spawn here. Wild berries are very nice. They they give you health, and they also give you, you know, your, your thirst, so... Uh, Two for one there, wild berries are awesome. And also up this little tunnel, there's a few uh, Cuban energy uh, clusters. So yeah, definitely look out for those. They're all around the valley. So yeah, check them out. And that's really it, guys. Dude, this run is super easy and, you know, it could definitely help you out a lot, especially if you're new to the game. If you practice it or if you do it a few times, you should be able to do it in about 10 minutes, 10 or 12 minutes, depending how much you loot and everything. But yeah, it's definitely good. We're going to end this run with 99% inventory. So uh, definitely right there where we need to be. And that's it for the video, guys. If you want to check in the description, you could follow me on Twitter. I'm doing lots of stuff on Twitter. I'm trying to go really hard on Twitter. You'll 
see more gaming stuff and less gaming stuff over there as well. So follow me on Twitter. It would mean the world. Peace out, guys. It's been the big K.